Hey everyone, Zero Jada here with the X-Play Fans Channel. Here we go, quick say so Pirates of First Star, a sort of adventure game where all combat's actually done via a sort of Tetris color match game. It's a really weird design choice, and I, th I think it kind of works for this. The only thing is that's the only type of combat that I've encountered. Uh, I am still slightly early in the game. I actually uh, just kind of leveled up. You use Diamond Dust. I actually leveled up my attack power. As you can see, I'm level 6. I am 625 and with health. And then I got my EXP and then gold and all that kind of stuff. So the the main story is essentially your father has all these different kids. And he I believe he's the king. And uh, he runs out of money. So he summons all his kids. And they're kind of doing fine except for you. And he kind of tasks you with finding this long lost pirate treasure kind of thing. And you immediately go and get drunk with the money he gives you and then set out to do it. There's also a side story with your mom who has dementia and you want to find the like little crystal statues that she used to look at when you were a kid from a toy store and there's this rock monster who wants seashells. There's different little stories that are, it's not just the main story, there's these other different subplots. But like I was saying before, on combats in this sort of tetris -y game which we'll go here. Also, all the people look like weird clay people. And then boom, color match. And then as you can see here, uh, health is at top left. I got these little rocks. If I, Once I get enough, if I hit B, it drops rocks in them. Match uh, four more, and I do damage to them. And that's literally all the combat. Uh, the only way they kind of really mix it up is that sometimes you will have areas where, like, hey, the bottom of this map is actually filled, or this area is filled with uh, rocks, or, like, there's certain colors already in kind of things. But other than that, it's pretty samey. Oop. I'm fine, though. Uh, the difficulty is indicated by the color above their head. Uh, green is easy, yellow is uh, medium, and red is, of course, hard. Let's slam all these down quickly. But uh, so far, it's been interesting. The story's okay. Nothing, like, crazy special. I'm also just ruining this person. Oh, not if I keep making mistakes like that. There is also, like, a tavern where you can play a card game, and then there's this little like arcade machine you can actually play just straight up this but if you win you get like a special reward I, that's how i got my diamond dust originally actually and then after this i'll actually show you the little farming thing which i've been doing it just gives you money essentially let's match the you do that there but yeah this is this is all the combat and that's it and then you win And then and they'll talk to you, and then you go on off. And also there's bunchies all over the place. And there's the captain. We're not going to talk to the captain. We actually have a story to resolve. I'm actually going to a lighthouse to talk to an older gentleman who supposedly saw the pirate who came here and buried the treasure. So what happened was, like, the pirate came with his crew here. Uh, this town unloaded all the cannons on him, destroyed them. But there was, like, only... There was, like, no signs of the captain in the treasure. But then they found signs of the treasure being brought in and, like, dragged ashore. We're gonna go up here. Come on, loading time. Alright, so, look, I got, like, so, you, you, you till the land, plant a seed. Till the land, plant a seed. And then you come back later. Take that. And if you see on the top right there, there's a little, like, thing I can flick this and if it'll start water and it'll make it go faster but then the water runs out no real reason to do that because it doesn't seem like they're timing you to do that so uh they want strawberries I don't have strawberries so we're leaving and inside it's your your mother who has dementia and I believe if you give her all the little stone statues there's an achievement to make her smile so off we go now The card game is essentially uh, it's three card draw whoever gets the highest number and then you, you you can actually watch the facial reactions of the opponents to see like if they smile they've got a good card kind of thing there's these chests around I believe you can lock pick them later right, so what do you want I had to talk to her then knock Mm-hmm. So I think what I need to go back is to the tavern and 
beat the lady, maybe? Whoa. Mm hmm. Alright, so I'm guessing I'm just gonna go beat up on people and steal uh, alcohol from them. What's over here, though? Oh, there's a boat. Hey there. Mm hmm. fine okay that's fine uh there's a shop owner who sells gold so they they essentially said if you're running low on money just run around collect seeds and stuff like that which are kind of just found everywhere i encountered a bug earlier where i ran off screen and nothing happened until i ran back on screen and then let back off but yeah you'll see oh i grabbed one of the seeds you'll see them like in the grass and on the path and you just grab them pick them up but yeah, just just kind of run around, throwing Tetris blocks at or whatever they're called, color blocks at people, beating them up, taking their stuff. That's how you're supposed to get the little statues. No, you don't have any bottles. Yeah, you're supposed to just steal them straight up. There's one. So I guess I just run around and find them, huh? Two. But yeah, anyone who's green is actually usually super easy to beat. There's one, three. I hope this doesn't become like a very long... I wonder if they're inside. Wow, I just busted through that door. There we go. Four. I can count. Five. Oh yeah, this is going to be easy. Oh, good on you, Dev, just to make it just run around. So far, I've, I wonder if I have to battle at least one person. God, they all look... I don't know what it is. They look both terrifying and pretty interesting design-wise for the people. Come on, loading times. Mm-hmm. All right, there we go. See, so yeah, it's just it's just a normal board, and off we go. And the music's always the same, which I think is hilarious. All right, oop, he got me. But I'm building up some uh, things. All right, let's drop that on him. I don't think he's actually doing too much damage. And usually, once you get on a roll, it's you're usually fine. I did. I may have messed myself up here. We can always just replay. I needed that yellow one. Do that there. So far I have not lost, but I wasn't really paying attention at the beginning of this one, so it might be the first time. Get that one. There we go. Slowly making a little bit of headway. I never really watch the opponent's board, but I kind of feel that they mess up a lot more than they should just to help you out. Oh, really? All right, let's see. I don't think any amount of that will help me now. The, uh, there's one of the arcade mode is an endless mode. You just keep going and it, it very much speeds up exponentially. But that's uh, where you can get the, what's it called? Diamond early on if you need it. Just gotta win, beat three modes. And there we go, that's, that was a nice little bit of damage to them. Drop that there. Oh man. This is gonna, I'm going to have to redo my first match. I was not paying attention at all. I also had a weird bug earlier that uh, I beat a guy. We beat each other at the exact same time. And uh, I, 
I got defeated. He def I defeated him. Whatever, we're gonna try it again. And uh, it said defeat on the screen, but it gave me the victory. It was really funny. We'll just do this one and then I'll wrap it up because you've seen essentially what the gameplay is. Yep, exact music, looping continually. Slam you down. I'm getting a lot more matches this time. Do you there? But yeah, this is this has been it. I think it's okay. We don't really have too many Tetris -y games nowadays. So kind of wrapping it in something another game is a pretty neat idea. The only thing that uh, I don't really like is that some, the music repeating does get kind of annoying. Yeah, this is going much better this time. Get that one down. I think before I only did 20 damage per hit, and now I'm doing 23. I can at least I at least glance over to see that once in a while. But I think like when you level up, you get maybe I don't know what you get. I haven't really paid attention. But I definitely have seen people go from like, hey, this person is a uh, like a yellow color to green color. Oh, come on. Yeah, the music seems to just randomly kind of just repeat. Slam you down. And of course, you hold down to speed stuff up. I don't need you. You can go there. That's a lot of the exact same color three times, in a, uh, four times in a row. Put that purple there. I'm going to be... Like, they, they are not giving me the colors I need. There we go. Really? There it is. But yeah, that's, um... That's Pirates of First Star. It's a weird kind of adventure game with kind of this battle block thing thrown in. This is the card game right here. As you can see, they're kind of doing whatever. Let's play this real quick. All right, so let's see. I have a jack. That's 10. I didn't look at their faces. Let's look at them now. So the guy on the right's happy. I have 18. That's still pretty good. Um, so I got to bet on the guy on the right not having a 6 or an, uh, anything higher than 26. Nope, he beat me. Anyways, I am Zero JD. This is the X-Play Fan Channel. Thank you for watching. This is an interesting game. Uh, the battle music is heavily repetitive, and that's the only biggest issue I have with this game. Otherwise, it's been uh, pretty okay to play. Thank you. If you have any questions, ask them down below. Share, comment, subscribe. It helps us out. Thank you, and have a nice day. Bye.